Today, I'm going to be talking about the light-skinned woman and the black man. I wrote this article for black men who make statements like, oh, she's cute for a dark-skinned woman, or nah, man, I can't date no dark-skinned sister. I'll take a light-skinned sister over a dark-skinned sister any day. Dark-skinned sisters are ugly. Man, she'd be hella fine if she was just a little lighter. Dark-skinned women have attitudes. And the list literally goes on and on, but I think you guys get my point. Now, to the black man that speaks so immaturely, foolishly, and ignorantly, I have to say shame on you. How could you fix your mouth to disrespect your black sister like that? Where did you learn to hate the dark-skinned woman? Is it possible that you dislike yourself? Listen up. If you feel like you're the man just because you're with a lighter-skinned woman, I'm here to tell you, you've got some self-esteem issues yourself. And for the record, most of the men that prefer a light-skinned woman they are dark skinned themselves. Now just imagine that. So with that being said, if you're a dark skinned brother, but you can't and or won't date a dark skinned sister, I'm here to tell you, you can't possibly like yourself or the skin that you're in. Do you realize how silly you look talking down on our women of color like that? I'll say it again. Shame on you. You were raised by black women in your family, mothers, grandmothers, and aunts. And I'm pretty sure that somewhere in your family tree, you've got dark skinned women. Now, how do you view them? Are they ugly to you? Now, hear me closely. It is one thing to have a preference but it's a whole other story when you so blatantly disrespect our sisters. Why must you be so ugly? Why must you keep up this garbage? Are you still brainwashed from the behavior back in the slavery days? Light skinned niggers versus the dark skinned niggers. And yes, I said niggers, not niggas because we weren't known as niggas back then. We were known as niggers. So I'm going to say it just like it needs to be said. Now, there's nothing attractive about downing our black sisters simply because they have dark skin. If anything, you should respect and cherish our queens. But then again, I wouldn't have to tell a real man such a thing like that. Now, would I? Now, some of the black men out there all over social media really need to grow up because they are just literally making themselves look like fools. Why don't you try educating yourselves on where all of this crap stems from? And I believe if you really and truly understood, I would hope that you'd have a change of heart the next time you try to fix your mouth to speak so negatively about the black woman. Black women are exquisitely beautiful in every shade. Get it together, my brothers. You have got to do better. We don't need our own brothers putting us down and talking about us as if we're not good enough. That's not cool and it's just not a good look. Why don't you try standing up for dark skinned women? Learn to appreciate their beauty. It's bad enough that as dark skinned women and men, they, they really had it rough back in the day. And to think our black men are keeping this same crap up. And I say, what a shame. What an embarrassment. You know, literally as a um, as just a, a culture, a community, just as a whole, you know, as a race, like literally it, it is quite embarrassing. Wake up, my brothers. Degrading the dark skinned woman is a negative reflection on you. 
you're the one with the problem. You're the one that needs to search within to see what's really going on in that messed up and confused mind of yours. I encourage you to stop downing our sisters because of their skin tone. It's ridiculous and absolute nonsense. Now in closing, I want you to ask yourself, why do I prefer light skinned women over dark skinned women? And please don't be so quick to answer that question. I want you to really give it some thought. Now is your answer that of a juvenile or a mature man with substance? I'll leave you with this. Why sell yourself short by choosing a woman based solely on her looks? Nine times out of 10, you'll be sadly disappointed by who you chose because you just had to have, quote unquote, what you call the baddest chick. A woman is much more than her body and looks. And I get it. You want someone who looks good and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But where you mess up is choosing a woman solely based on skin tone. Why do you think so many men get played and or hurt? They get so caught up in trying to hook up with a woman who has the fattest ass, thighs, hips, and big breasts. And they can't even see clearly what this woman is really about. I'll say it again. Looks are far too overrated, and I can say that confidently. You'll know when you've matured as a man, when you clearly understand that just because a woman is light skin, it does not make her the better pick. Mm -hmm. Don't be so simple minded. Try choosing a woman based on who she is. Things like her personality, her character, her confidence, her independence, choosing someone who has goals and ambitious, ambitious in life, you know, literally like somebody who really wants something out of life, somebody who's going somewhere, you know, literally, you can't just be so simple minded thinking, oh, well, she looks good. I'm a, I'm a holla at her. You know, I get it. At first glance, yeah, everyone, you know, we we have eyes, so we physically see. But I mean, I can't tell you how many friends I've had, you know, that just stay in these relationships with with um, light skinned women just because they're light skinned and just because everybody is gawking at them and they got a nice figure and all of that. And I'm just like, dude, like for real, why are you selling yourself short like that? I've had growing up, I'm in my mid forties now, but growing up, I had so many homeboys literally where, I mean, it, it's kind of, I don't want to say it's laughable, but it's almost, it is, it's almost like a joke. Like you mean to tell me you are willing to just stay with the female because she has the light eyes, she's light skin and all of that. And <laughs> Man, I, I, and you know, ain't even got no real respect going on in a relationship. You know, she running around doing this, doing that. And yet you, you still want to be with her because everybody else want to be with her. I'm sorry. I, I, I just, I, I can't, I, I can't comprehend anything like that. I'm sorry. That's just my personal opinion. But like I stated, I just wanted to write an article just to give you guys some food for thought. And I'm going to let you know right now, really listen to what I'm saying carefully because I don't want no rude and, and just disrespectful comments because um, let's just say I'm the type, I will come back at you. So before you go there with me, I want you to maybe listen to this maybe a couple of times. I'm not saying you cannot date light skinned women. I'm giving you food for thought on, you know, just us sisters as a whole. And I clearly stated, yes, you do have a preference, but I will stand firm on if you are literally looking at dark skinned sisters 
and you are just like, you, you know who you are. Some of you may be listening in. If you are just straight like dogging them out, degrading them and, and just straight clowning them. I'm sorry, brothers. This, this should be a wake up call. I am coming from a genuine place and you can Google me, Stephanie Lahart. You can go online. You can find me everywhere. I'm personally not a dark skinned sister, but I'm just, yeah, I guess you could say I'm making this, you know, basically to take up for them, you know, and to honor them and to celebrate them because I don't know what type of pictures you guys are looking at. But dark skin women to me are absolutely stunning. You know, I'm more in the middle. But to me, dark skin sisters, I can say confidently, confidently that they are some gorgeous women. God, their skin tone just glows and they're just beautiful. They're exquisite, you know. But then you've got, like I said, black women. And black girls are exquisitely beautiful in every shade. And that's real talk. Yes, we can all have a preference of who we prefer. But at the end of the day, black women and black girl skin tones are just exquisite, period. Sorry, there's no argument, you know, because that that is the absolute truth, you know. So that's just my take. I hope you guys take um, a lot away from this. No need to have an attitude or anything. This is just some food for thought for my black people. Again, I am author Stephanie LaHart wishing you a pleasant day. Until next time. Peace.